Hey everyone, today I'd like to talk about how to get your drawing onto pastel paper. There are some really good reasons why you shouldn't just draw straight onto the pastel paper if your drawing skills aren't top notch. Or even if they are top notch, you still make um, slight mistakes um, and that's not always good for the paper or good for you when you come to pastel it because you won't end up with the pure lines that you need to be able to get an accurate representation especially if you're doing somebody's beloved pet or a person or a horse or something um, where the likeness needs to be um, exact if it's something like a Highland cow and you don't need the um, likeness to be spot on then um, you don't need to worry so much about getting the lines perfect but for a person it's much more important here is an eye that I drew on a grid it's actually her eye and I've got a piece of transfer paper underneath this is actually carbon paper it's not traced down Carbon paper is about 10 pence a sheet compared to Trace Down, which is very expensive. So this paper is much better for practicing with. So I've drawn my image on my piece of graphite. Um, I've drawn my image on my squared paper. I've taped the piece of graphite paper underneath. I've drawn my image on a piece of squared paper and taped a piece of graphite or carbon paper. I can't remember which one this is, but you can buy it for about 10 pence a sheet compared to Trace Down, which is about £2 a sheet, I think, or maybe more. You put that on your paper, your pastel paper, and then you can push through and get your lines. As you progress as an artist you'll find that you need less and less lines and you don't need to worry about being so precise. And this is why tracing can help you improve your drawing skills. So let's see what we've got. Now I've pressed very lightly there. If I press harder, we get a hard line. That's not really what you want. It's going to be quite hard to cover that up. There is something you can do That's to get a putty rubber and just rub over the top. It doesn't completely rub out but it does take it back a few notches so you're able to put pastel over the top like that. Now you need to get the whole image down before you remove the squared paper and the um, the graphite paper because um, you won't be able to put it back in the right place. So my suggestion is that you tape this to the pastel mat or, or velour paper and then slide this underneath. So this is free and these two are joined and then you can just lift up as you see fit and when you're happy with your drawing then you can take it off. I've got two here that I've done before. This first one I've gone over in a black pen so you can actually see it really well. So I've, this is my grid, I've, I've put my image on, um, made sure it has a likeness to the, the person I'm doing and um, then I've transferred it. Another one here. This 
young lady was particularly challenging to draw so I put an extra guidelines inside her eyes and around her lips. Now this kind of thing really does help your visual skills and your drawing skills and just helps you tune your eye into what you're meant to be picking up on in a portrait to get a likeness and it really does help you to become better at drawing so don't think it's cheating a lot of people a lot of artists do think it's cheating and a lot of people who aren't artists thinks it think it's cheating but it really isn't um so you they're two different things one is drawing one is pasteling learn how to draw and learn how to pastel and then when you're ready to bring them together you can do that